Hey there! Today we're going to talk about making blacklight artwork. So most of what I do is fluorescent blacklight artwork. I've been doing it now for, we'll say six years consistently. So I've got a lot to say on the subject. The first thing you should consider is, do you have a blacklight? Uh, I use a combination of a blacklight flashlight Ooh, glowy. And a fluorescent tube light. Yeah, I've had this one since college, very trusty. The fluorescent light is better for when you're photographing or doing a final check. The black light flashlight is much better for checking your work as you go. Uh, when I first started uh, doing a lot of glow work, I would paint in pretty much only UV light, and that is really hard on your eyes. I do not recommend it. Um, nowadays, I use a combination of white light and black light um, with using the black light flashlight checking as I go. Even when I'm photographing, I always take breaks every couple minutes for my eye's sake. Turn those off. Now let's talk a little bit about paint. So until recently, I was using the Sargent Art line. You can get this in a six pack for I think around $15. I liked it, it was good. Uh, it had good pigmentation. The viscosity was closer to that of those little cheap craft paints you get at the big box stores. So since then, I've upgraded to the Bullock Acrylic line. I think I might have every color. I got them for a steal. They were on sale and I bought a whole bunch, so I'm pretty well stocked up there. I also recommend folks get themselves a thing of gloss medium. This is really good for thinning out the acrylic paint. I do not recommend mixing water with black light paint. It will definitely split the pigment and you won't have a smooth color. But this can make it even more transparent or just put a little bit in to help it glide. Absolute essential. Also, this is the acrylic one. Uh, this is like a year's supply, even for me, who's a pretty avid painter. Um, so yeah, definitely go for that. You can also use deglaze if you want. Multi-purpose. And of course, can't forget specialty colors. So this is a UV white. It glows pretty close to white. I would say it's white with a blue tinge. This is the Flash, Flashé line. Uh, it's a little spendy. I think this whole thing is like $18, but it's nice. It's really nice quality. It's really high viscosity, like real artist acrylic. Uh, you know, it's made in France, so it's it's definitely worth the money, and I'd say white is actually pretty essential when you're doing a black light painting. Any non-fluorescent paint color is going to show up pretty much like black under the black light. The exception is really light ones like white that will reflect it and show up more purple or blue. So you're not going to have anything that really looks white under the black light unless you invest in some white paint white fluoro paint. A necessity. Well, I hope that gave you some inspiration and maybe a couple tips today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment down below if you have questions about paint, about my work, anything. Let me know and I hope you all, I wish you all, happy painting. Bye!